Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make my most popular pattern, a fun jellyfish. The tentacles are super fun to play with, which makes the plushie that much more lovable. So let's get started. The materials you will need are a weight six velvet plush yarn in white. This one I'm using is by Loops and Threads. You'll also need a weight four acrylic yarn that's multicolored. This one is by Yarn Bee in the color Whisper. You'll need a six and a half millimeter hook, a five millimeter hook, a tapestry needle, 18 millimeter safety eyes, a piece of black yarn for the mouth, and a pair of scissors. We're going to be starting with the head and to make the fun color of the jellyfish, we're going to crochet using both the white yarn and the acrylic yarn, as well as a six and a half millimeter hook. To start round one, place eight single crochets into a magic ring. It can be tricky working with both strands at once, so take your time as you place the single crochets into the ring. It'll get easier working with it as you progress. Pull the tail to close the ring. I always like to wiggle my stitches loose so that I have more room to work with. For round two, we're going to increase in each stitch around. This will leave us with a total of 16 stitches. Go ahead and replace your stitch marker and place another stitch in the one you were just placed a stitch in. Go into the next stitch and place two single crochets. Into the next two single crochets. And keep repeating this pattern all the way around. For round three, we're going to do one single crochet and then increase and repeat that pattern eight times for a total of 24 stitches. We just placed our first single crochet, so here is our increase, one and two. In the next stitch, place one single crochet. In the next two, In the next one, in the next two, and keep repeating this all the way around. For round four, we're going to do two single crochet and then increase eight times around for a total of 32 stitches. Here's our increase. So you see we have one, two, and then increase. And the next stitch, one, and the next one, and in the next two single crochets. Keep repeating this all the way around. For rounds five through 10, which is a total of six rounds, you're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around, leaving you with 32 stitches in each of the six rounds. So we're just going to keep going in every stitch 
all the way around with one single crochet for a total of six rounds. Here we are after six rounds have, have been completed. For round 11, we're going to place two single crochet and then decrease for a total of 24 stitches. Here's the decrease. So you have one, two, and decrease. And the next one stitch. And the next one. And the next decrease. Repeat that all the way around until you come back to the beginning. For the next, we're going to take the stitch marker out so it doesn't get in our way. And there are two loops to each stitch, a front loop, which I'm showing here, and a back loop, which I'm showing here. The front loop is the one that we want. So we want to work in the front loop only all the way around and go in and place a half double crochet in the front loop. Replace your stitch marker so you know where you started. Now place a double crochet in the same stitch in the front loop only. And now another half double crochet in that same stitch. In the next front loop only, we'll place a slip stitch. And in the next, we'll repeat that cluster of a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a half double crochet, all in the front loop of the next stitch. And in the next, slip stitch. So you're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until you get back to the beginning. You should end on a slip stitch. Here I am making the last stitch, which is a slip stitch. And this will be the end of our head. This is the ruffled edge of the jellyfish head. So go ahead and cut your yarn, leaving just a little bit of a tail to hide later. And pull that through and just tighten it off. Now we're going to place the eyes and we're going to place them between rows 8 and 9, about 8 stitches apart. So I'm going to place my first eye, and then I'm going to count eight stitches. And place the second eye. Once you're happy with the placement, go ahead and add the plastic backing, or if you're using felt eyes, you can go ahead and glue those on as well. Now to do the mouth, take the worsted weight black yarn that you have and thread it through your darning needle and just embroider that mouth between the eyes, right in the middle. You want to come up through the inside of the head. Go across two stitches and diagonally down into the middle. Here I just go under one more stitch because I didn't like the placement of it and I wanted it to be a little bit more central. And then just go right through that top to pull the mouth down right back into that same spot and pull that through and that should create the mouth for you. Once you're happy with it, you can tie the two tails together And here is the head of our jellyfish. Now for the belly, we're going to use the six and a half millimeter hook again. And for round one, we're going to place eight single crochet in the magic ring again.
pull the tail to tighten and for round two we're going to increase into every stitch leaving 16 stitches just like we did with the head there's our third increase one and two and again keep repeating that all the way around till you meet back at the stitch marker for round three we're going to do a single crochet and then increase eight times for a total of 24 stitches just like with the head here's our first stitch and the next increase in the next one and the next two and the next one and the next two and repeat that all the way around this is the end of the belly so go ahead and fasten off with a slip stitch in the next stitch and just cut leaving a small tail to hide into the body later pull that to tighten and remove the stitch marker now we're going to make four small stingers all of the stingers will be made using a five millimeter hook and the worsted weight yarn for the small stingers you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain 30. Once you have your chain, skip the first two chains and then place three half double crochets in the third chain. Here's one, here's two in the same stitch, and here's number three in the same stitch. go into the next chain and place three half double crochets here's one two and three into the next place three half double crochets one two and three keep repeating this placing three half double crochet in each chain all the way down here i am at the end and this is what your small stinger should look like and then chain one and cut leaving a tail to sew into the belly pull that through and tighten you want to make four of those now make three medium stingers start with a slip knot and chain 40. Just like with these small stingers, you're going to skip the first two chains and place three half double crochets in the third chain. There's three, go into the next, place three more. three again continue this pattern all the way down the chain here is our finished medium stinger again chain one and cut leaving a tail long enough to sew into the belly later
you want to make three of these. Now make four large stingers. For these, you're going to make a slip knot and chain 50. Now skip the first chain and in the second chain, place three single crochets. Here's two and here's three. In the next chain, you want to place three single crochets. Just like with the other stingers, repeat this pattern all the way down, placing three single crochets in every chain. Here we are at the end of our first large stinger. Now chain one and fasten off, leaving a tail long enough to sew into the belly later. Pull that through and tighten. You wanna make a total of four of these. Now we're moving into assembly. We're going to start with the belly and you want to start with the right side of the stitches facing forward and we're going to start with these small stingers. Thread one of the tails of the small stingers through your tapestry needle and going in through the top of the belly where the right side is, how I show you here, on the outside thread through that tail. Take the other tail and thread that through your tapestry needle. Make sure there is one stitch distance between the first tail and place that into the belly. Take those two tails that you just threaded through and just tie them with one single tie. You don't want to knot it yet because you want to be able to remove it if you don't like the placement once all of the stingers are placed onto the belly. So just do one and we'll come back and tie it later. So this is how it's going to show on the jellyfish. We have four small stingers so place them evenly around the belly and sew them on on the outside like we did the first. I'll show you one more time with the small stinger. We're gonna work on this one on the right. Just place that through around the edge of the belly. Take the second tail Thread that through, making sure there's a one stitch distance between, and tie with one single tie just to get it to stay into place. Alright, now add the other two small stingers, one about here and the other one about here, and I will meet you back here. Here we are with the four small stingers on the belly. Again, we didn't tie any knots yet, we'll get back to that. So now moving into the medium stingers, we're going to place them in between the small stingers. Again, there's only three of these, there isn't four, so just pick which spaces you want to put them in between and just sew them on. So here's where I placed my medium stingers. Now we have four large stingers. So we're going to fill one, the last gap with one of the four stingers. So here I am just threading that through and tying the tails together. For the next one, we're going to place it directly in the center of the belly. or as center as you can get. And 
and tie those tails together. Now for the last two, just place them where you see a gap. So this is not an exact science, it's just where you think is going to look the best, where it's going to fill in the stingers the most. So here I'm just kind of playing around with it, trying to see where I want to put them. Most of the time I put the large stingers in the middle, around the middle, so that they fill in more of the space in the middle. This other one I decided to place right here. Alright, and once you are happy with the placement of all of the stingers, you're going to turn it around so that you can tie all of the tails into knots so that you can make sure that they don't go anywhere. And I like to start at the top, going around clockwise, just so that I make sure I don't miss any tails. So I go all the way around the edge, one after another. And then once I'm done with those, then I'll go into the middle ones and work clockwise to make sure that all of the tails are tied and that I didn't miss any of the stingers. Because that would be bad if one of them came out while you were playing with it. <laughs> So here's what it should look like, all nice and full and playful. Now we're going to add it to the belly, so grab all of those tails if you can. And grab the head. And place those tails inside the head. Just like this. So now cut a very long strip of white yarn and we're going to use this to sew the belly to the head. Thread that through your tapestry needle. And what I like to do is just match the where I ended on the belly with where I ended on the head. You don't have to do this, I just like doing that. You can start attaching it anywhere if you prefer. And then if you recall, we did the front loop only of the last round, so it left a back loop only for that round, and I'm showing you those back loops here, and that's where we're going to stitch into the head. So thread your tapestry needle through both stitches on the belly and the back loop only on the head. Pull it through, leaving enough of a tail to tie once you go all the way around. So go into the next stitch and the next back loop only that matches up with it and sew through. You want to keep going into every stitch to attach the belly to the head and just keep working your way around. Be sure to leave a small gap so that we can stuff the head. So here I am. I've got just enough gap to fill the head before we continue on. So go ahead and stuff the head. And then finish closing.
Once you reach the end, this is my last stitch, and then I will tie the leftover tail with the beginning tail together. So take those two tails and just make a few knots with them so that they are secure. And then go ahead and hide those tails inside the body of the jellyfish. Make sure that you go through and hide all of the other tails. And here we are with our finished jellyfish. He is just absolutely adorable. Kids just have the best time playing with his stingers. They love it so much. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to catch more tutorials like these and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.